Hi guys, Chef J here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Before I get into it, I'd like to send my condolences to anyone that has lost a family member because of the COVID-19. And I hope you guys are staying safe. Wash your hands as, as much often as you can when you go out and come back in. And just enjoy this quality time with your family because you never know when we're going to have this kind of quality time. Because when this is all over, everybody's going to go back to being busy and work. So right now, just focus on your family and just focus being safe. So today what I got for y'all on the menu is called chicken lollipop dripped in honey sauce, okay? These are the seasonings that I'm going to be using. If you do not have the seasonings that I use, just use any kind of season that you have at home. So here I have my chicken drum already cleaned, de-skinned. I do not like skin on my chicken, okay? I do not like skin on my chicken. And chicken drums, I mean, <laughs> chicken lollipops are usually made out of chicken wings, but I prefer chicken drums than chicken wings. Either way, it doesn't matter, you still get a lollipop shape. Chicken wings, chicken drums, you still get a lollipop shape, okay? So what you're gonna do, just cut through that. Okay, let me be honest. This was not easy, child. This was not easy. Because when you cut through that, you have to pull the skin. Well, some people, for some people, they might find it easy. But for me, it was not because it was my first time cooking this. Yeah, you heard me. First time making this at home. Okay. First time making chicken lollipops dipped in honey sauce at home. So it was not easy for me. So all you got to do, push the skin inside out to give it that lollipop shape. Okay. I did that and the skin, the meat almost came off the bones okay the meat almost came off the bone okay not bones but bone but meat almost came out the bone look at that oh child look at that lollipop shape look at lollipop shape look at that lollipop shape okay i'm gonna go ahead cut all my fresh produce okay cutting chopping my fresh produce okay so y'all i'm just sitting here in this quarantine i got nowhere to go on this saturday night i'm just like you know what i'm just finish up editing my video because it's long overdue okay it's long overdue i got so much time to kill because girl i haven't been working lately so because of this all this quarantine i work in a restaurant so like so slow right now so i've been at work and i have so much time to edit my video which i haven't okay sorry that you cannot see uh my bowl properly i should have just put it in the middle but you know, it is what it is. I learned. I made a mistake. I learned from it. So next time, just make sure my boy is like there. You guys can see the seasonings that I'm putting in there. But I wrote down everything that I put in my chicken just to give it that flavor. Okay? Just give it that flavor. Like I said before, if you do not have the seasonings that I'm using, just use the seasonings that you have at home. Okay? Do you have a home? And give it the taste that you want to have in your food. Okay? All right. You're going to catch me singing a little bit <laughs> in my videos because these days I just find myself singing anytime, anywhere in the house because I be bored. Your girl be bored, okay? Your girl be bored. So here I have all my seasonings. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, I added more red pepper because I want it to be spicy. Oh, uh, and there goes my, <laughs> there goes, don't forget that olive oil so the, the seasoning can stick mix that okay i'm gonna go ahead and crack an egg okay you know usually you just can put your eggs in a separate bowl and just dip it in there and just put your flour and put in your flour no so today i'm just gonna I'm, I'm just like you know what i'm just put my egg and flour onto my chicken and just mix it so i've just put my egg and flour and corn sketch all together on my chicken and mixed it up and the chicken came out good okay instead of just dipping here dipping here and just dipping it over here so here I have my sauce. I'm, I'm just making my honey sauce. I have two sticks of butter. Okay. I use two sticks of stew. I can't even say it. <laughs> two sticks of butter. And there goes my garlic and ginger. Let that cook. I love my garlic and ginger. Like I said before, I love my garlic and ginger. And there goes my cilantro. Cilantro. I love cilantro. Y'all, look at that. Ooh, that's, that is sizzling. I almost said shit. <laughs> Excuse me. And there goes my lemon zest. Hey, and there's my honey. Don't forget your how can you make honey sauce without honey? How is that even possible? Like, okay, how is that even possible? Like, really? And as you can see, I'm, I added more garlic and cilantro. But as you can see, I'm I am not measuring none of this stuff, okay? I just go with my instincts. When I'm cooking, I just go with my instincts. And there's the jimbo. I added more jimbo. Ooh, jimbo. Jimbo. Hey. 
uh, and the stuff. Sorry, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Yo, I just start I just start showing myself more onto my videos, which is gonna happen soon. Ooh, look at that. That is okay, that is ready. I added some brown sugar to it to give, to give it some sweet. There's the ginger. And there goes my chicken. I'm frying deep frying the chicken. I let it season for three hours because I didn't have time to season it for 24 hours. But I make sure I season it for three hours. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, give it a little shake. Move that. Ooh. Oh Lord. Now that is fried. That is deep fried. So here I am taking my chicken. I'm gonna dip it into my honey sauce. Okay. Oh, by the way, in my honey sauce, I did put some black pepper and some seasoning onto my honey sauce. I did. That was not in the video, but yeah. If you want double coating, dip everything, put it back in the oven for five minutes, take it back out, five to ten minutes, and take it back out and dip it again. Look at that. Oh my god. That is so good. That was so good. Look at that. Ooh, ciao. If you guys like what you see, please go ahead, subscribe, like, and share, and don't forget to comment down below, okay? And since Ramadan is around the corner, I would like to know what kind of food that you guys want me to make during the Ramadan month, and I'll make that. And shout out to Marty for working with me on this video, and stay safe, people.